I installed two Google Nest uh, thermostat and I am having offline mode issue on both. Uh, the panels are working fine, but I cannot control them from my Google Home app. And today I'm gonna show you how I fixed it. N260 is the issue, which is the lock of C wire or NAS power connector. And that is when it is missing, it doesn't provide enough power to charge the battery. When the battery level goes below 3.6, then it disconnects the Wi Fi and then it never connects back. And it will never come back even the battery level goes 3.6. Also, the software updates and display sensing won't work. Now I'll show you what cables my thermostat is detecting. Uh, definitely C wire is not gonna be detected. Now here is my result. And C should be right after Y. And here is my power info. It is currently 30 volts. And let's do the power testing. How many volts I'm getting? And I'm assuming it's going to be less. Yeah, it is 28.3. And if you look at the ampere, that is 770 uh, milliampere. That is low. That's not acceptable amount. And let's read these things. So if the C wire is not connected, it should be 29 to 42 volts when the system is not running and 6 to 7 volts when it is running and 20 to 40 milliampere. When there is a C wire, then it is 29 to 42 volts and 1 to 200 milliampere. This is top of my thermostat and it's a like bad job. I'm gonna put these cables inside the unit. As you can see, there are two cables on the left. The thick one goes to thermostat and the skinny one goes to the outside unit. And uh, now on the next image, I'm gonna show you the connector that uh, seals the C wire. And here is the thermostat cable, the C wire is wrapped up, which is good. After I fix the cables and connect, now let's put the thermostat back and uh, no power now. And when I put it, we should be seeing the power. Yes, here's the power. And let's check the cables uh, if the C wire is detected. Yeah, the C wire is detected, but it is it is saying unconfigured. So that's what the issue because I know that it has a good enough power. C thirty six point five volt and it's three hundred eighty five milliampere. This is good. Now we need to uh, uh, restart uh, to see if this is gonna fix the issue. If it doesn't fix the issue. Uh, we might uh, factory reset, but to do the factory reset, definitely uh, uh, I need to take the, the, the thermostat off and then, you know, read the code and then go through all that application process. Probably I'm going to put the snapshots at the end of the video uh, and then show you uh, the result with another video. Okay, now it's starting up. And it has 36.5 volt with 385 milliampere. But let's see if restart is gonna work. Yeah, it didn't work. So it's still yellow and it still says unconfigured. So this, this definitely requires a factory reset, but it is good. So we know that there's 36 volt and uh, the, we know that the C wire is detected. It just, uh, it just needs to be configured. At this point, we need to do a factory reset, but this is gonna uh, make me uh, uh, redo the Google Home app. Uh, 
uh, I'm going to share with you all the snapshots right after this. Uh, you can pause and, you know, like one by one, you can match yours if everything goes through fine on your side. Uh, yeah, after this, uh, the installation steps are done. I am going to restart it. Now it should be finishing now. Like I'm sharing uh, snapshots three for every page. Yeah, I'm not gonna explain every single of them. It's just whatever I clicked, you can click. Except the room name, that's you can name whatever you want. But here it is my uh, uh, settings. Uh, the comfort, echo, and the sleep settings. It's all fine. You can you can you know you don't have to do exactly like I did. And here it is. Now the screen says that uh, the installation is done. Now let's check it. Uh, no exclamation mark, which is good. Let's take a look at if C wire is detected now. If it is blue. Yeah, it is actually blue. So that means C wire is detected and has a good power. And let's take a look at the power. It's stored is 7.6 volts and 385 ampere, milliampere, I'm sorry. And NAS power connector, we don't need this. If you're connecting C wire, you don't need NAS power connector. Uh, Google sends it the first one free, but if you have another controller, they're charging. Network is connected. Version, we need to do version update too, if there is an update. But since it's a new, uh, it should not have an update. Let's see. I think it says up to date. Yep. Uh, the, so it looks like everything is good, but there's definitely, uh, I have to, you know, keep an eye on it. If, if the offline mode comes again, if it comes, there is one more thing left, which is the, um, which is assigning a static IP in in my router so that way whenever it is disconnected uh, since we're going to assign the static ip it will be always co connecting to that uh, static ip instead of dynamic um, ip con you know the conflict so on my next video i'm going to explain that